Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this simple but cool looking text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. And if you want to learn more about text animation and typography stuff then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses, links are available in the description and as always if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all here we are in adobe after effect let's create a new composition we are going to call it as main animation as always we do width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 second long and background color is white and simply hit ok and go to the choose grid and guide option and simply hit on titus affection now i have one color palette over here you can easily get this color palette from uh, in, uh, google or you can choose whatever color palette you want uh, right now i'm going to choose this one only so let's select this and let's increase the size of it just for my reference and then i'm going to press ctrl y to create one solid background and with the help of the speaker i'll pick up this color hit ok and let's move this backwards and hit ok like this then i'm going to select my rectangle tool and i'll delete this stroke we don't need that and we are going to create one small rectangle like this okay select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab and uh, we are going to choose align left so it will automatically properly fit to it then select our selection tool zoom in a little bit and try to adjust the size from here like this okay so this is properly adjusted now press s and unlink this scaling let's make this fit and try to adjust this over here make sure it let's choose a left align again over here and now i'm going to choose my pen behind tool and i'll try to adjust this over here by holding control you can properly snap at the edge okay then we are going to choose selection tool and we will move this over here okay properly scale is adjusted so our scale is something like this so initially create one keyframe over here go to somewhere around let's say one point or let's say two seconds and we will create another keyframe and initially it should be zero so we will get this kind of animation over here now let's select this and press p for position hit ctrl d to duplicate it we will bring this downwards and you can simply enable the snapping also so what will happen if you move it it will properly snap sorry it will properly snap at the edge like this okay then again select this hit ctrl d okay let's properly snap select all of these three hit ctrl d bring them at the top uh, like this and let's properly snap at the edge okay so one two three four five six let's create one more so select this hit ctrl d so we have seven now let's properly adjust it over here okay now we will bring our color palette at the top and let's select this go to the fill we will choose picker and pick up this color select this six layer sorry pick up this color and we will try to pick up these colors okay we are not going to choose this one okay i think this looks good so let's delete these colors we don't need that at least for now so select all of them and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and we are going to name it as let's say one or let's say strips then hit ok press r for rotation and let's make this 90 degree rotation like this 
zoom in a little bit or uh, let's press s and scale it and sorry let's disable the snapping we don't need that and try to adjust this properly over here somewhere around like this let's align it at the center okay let's make this fit like this and if you see now we will get this kind of animation and now i want this animation should be randomized so uh, i'm going to take a distance of 5 5 frames and let's try to adjust them okay so this is one way or uh, otherwise what you can do you can adjust them randomly also like this okay so if you see now we will get this kind of stuff now uh, if you see properly at this point which is been at two seconds this is properly touching over here so i'll select the strip and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll press s for scaling option and uh, unlink the scaling and let's scale it like this and let's move this downwards or uh, instead of that let's do one thing let's select this strip hit ctrl d and convert this layer into 3d press r for rotation and we have to rotate it on x axis press p for position and let's bring this downwards over here press r for rotation and let's make it minus 80 degree press p for position and let's bring this over here press r for let's make this minus 90 degree and let's see how does it looks i think this looks good press p again and let's bring this over here okay and let's move this a little bit forward so we can properly adjust the scale now let's move this over here and now i'm going to press s unlink this and now we can increase the scale like this I also adjust the position and increase the scale let's make this full resolution and let's see if it's properly adjusted or not yeah and now I'll go somewhere around two seconds at this point I'll select the strips and I'll move this over here so it will properly come from here so if you see now we will get something like this and uh, if you think this is quite slow then you can right click go to the time and choose time let's say time stretch and let's make this 50 maybe so the animation will become a little bit faster but uh, it's not going to help because if you see uh, we are getting weird stuff so i think we need to keep it as it is over here like this then right click new and let's create one null object select both of these layers and make it apparent with this null select this null press s and we will decrease the scale somewhere around like this so if you see now if we hit play we will get something like this now this is just an extra element that we want for our animation our main purpose is to create a text animation so this is just for a background so now we will move on to text animation for that we will create uh, not another composition we will create over here only so let's hide both of them and now select our text tool and type text uh, let's delete this so we don't want that and i'm going to choose white color for this text i'll call it as retro select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and for animation i'm going to choose animation composer so i'll go to the windows and animation composer i'll go to the transition presets go to the text go to the animate characters and choose scale tracking overshoot and i'm going to choose this option 
but uh, if you see this is quite heavy so let's try with basics over here it's not working let's go to the scale overshoot yeah i think this looks good so i'm going to choose overshoot and let's enable this and let's close this so now if you see we will get this kind of animation let's increase the duration up to somewhere around over here so if you see now we will get this kind of animation now we will try to stylize this text so let's go to the last second let's select this text and hit ctrl d select this go to the character and we are going to delete this fill and we are going to choose stroke and for the stroke color i'm going to choose let's say somewhere around this kind of orangey color over here select this retro hit ctrl d select this third layer choose white color and increase the stroke width over here select this retro hit ctrl d select this fourth layer choose black color and increase the stroke width somewhere around like this select the second color and choose black color over here instead of this and select this fourth layer over here choose a little bit of somewhere around like this okay select this layer hit ctrl d select this fifth layer choose black color again and increase the stroke width somewhere around like this okay or you can choose white color over here and now select this fifth layer hit ctrl d and we will increase the stroke width and we are going to choose this orangey color over here like this and we are going to choose a little bit lighter version of this okay and let's make this fit now select the sixth layer hit ctrl d select the seventh layer and with the help of down arrow keys i'll bring this downwards two times and move this over a little bit again hit ctrl d select this eight layer move this downward two times and move this over here again select this hit ctrl d select this ninth layer move this downward two times and move this over here and if you want instead of black color you are free to choose any color like this color also you can choose it's totally up to you so this is how you can choose this and if you see this animation now we will get something like this over here and let's select this eight layer and uh, you can choose white color over here if you want this kind of details and on the second layer if you want then you can use a little bit of darker version of any color okay and now i want them to be animated one by one so i'm going to take a distance of five five frames okay and let's enable our strips so uh, my strips are starting from this point so select both of these comps and uh, let's select the second comp only hold alt and open bracket select both of these layers go to the start and we will move this over here okay and we will delete this null object now we don't need that and my animation should start from this point oops so we have deleted this null object we don't need to do that okay and select this retro text layers and it should start from this point so i'll move them over here okay so we'll get something like this then if you want then simply select all of these layers and press ctrl shift c or uh, you can select this two only and press ctrl shift c press s and try to scale the size a little bit like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of stylized text animation inside of after effects